I don't know if the audio is getting recorded because I'm using a mask, but it is right now 9 a.m. ish, and I am going out after a long while, and there were some things I wanted to talk about, and I wanted to get them off my chest. So let's go for a walk, and let's see if things are better or worse and we're going to begin with the idea of isolation okay the reality of the situation is that these are very very crazy times and each country each culture it's I don't know group of people they try to handle this thing differently. Some people have taken the safest possible route with extreme social distancing and staying safe and sane and healthy, not just only for themselves, but also for um, those who are around them, because each of us could be a carrier and, and we might be asymptomic. Symptomic? Without any you know symptoms I think it's that, that's how you say it but we may not we may not show the signs that we are infected but for some reason our body might like resist but that's a good way some countries have taken this thing seriously from the beginning but they eventually slow down due to a variety of reasons Maybe the situation got better. Maybe just people changed their like usual and quotidian habits. But this is weird talking into a mask. Not gonna lie. And some countries like mine have chosen to take the path of somewhat ignorance unfortunately I have to say and that is where the idea of isolation comes let me explain you see uh, we are located on the eastern side of the world and it is generally stereotypically known that we are people of a warmer and more social culture which means that it's in our genes to be around each other to go to gatherings to go to hangouts to have fun and again these are just general perceptions each and every one of them could be wrong but this is my understanding and i tend to stand by it because it seems like I might be onto something, just, so just walk with me and let me tell you what I mean. Because we're social creatures by habit as human beings and we as this, this group of people are a little bit more than just social, we tend to uh, forget, for lack of a better word, what this situation is all about we think if we don't shake hands it would be like rude if we don't like go to parties or hang out it would be rude and for, you know, for a long time i also thought like that not gonna lie i also thought that hey is this thing really that serious I and mean, could we let, like not take it that seriously and still survive but our numbers like the unfortunate daily fatalities went down for a little bit i think at some point we hit two digits and now we're back into 200s and 300s hopefully not higher by the time this video comes out and that next to um, something else 
made me I am going to use the adjective depressed lightly, but I feel like I have lost all motivation, all of it. So let me explain to you what I mean, what I mean what, when I say motivation. I don't know the dictionary definition for it right now, but generally motivation is something internal or maybe external that would drive us to do something which might be beyond our capabilities or at least our mental understanding of what our capabilities are or you do things that you're not forced to you do things that you're not pushed to doing because of some rule or some payment or some you know regulation or something and you know professionally i used to be a teacher and i used to be a musician both of these um, topics have been put on a very big gigantic hold and next to the what i just explained to you a couple minutes ago i feel like i'm demotivated which is leading to depression and the worst part of depression at least in my case is the fact that i am gaining so much inertia so much willingness to stay in one place you know i don't know if you have watched the previous videos of the previous couple of years wow two years ago I used to go out and run like every morning or every other morning I think the last time that I ran was a long time ago and that is on me not on the situation because you can go out and you can be safe and you can do your like some kind of a working out another reason that I feel this depression you know, crawling in me is because I used to have like my own corner temple whatever in the world my room and we moved from that place and that caused so many mixed feelings because I could like play the piano at like 5 a.m without any cares in the world because everything was soundproofed i was safe away from bothering others and now in the new interim place that we are which is hopefully gonna end very soon i feel like i just i don't i don't push i can't push myself to playing music that much i think the, during these past what was it my last music was released in february 2020 or 2019 i don't remember it was it was it was a valentine's day release link in the description below and and since then i think i have written properly maybe two or three songs or four a maximum and i'm not really proud of either of them or all of them because I feel like they are not adding anything to the story that I'm trying to tell over the course of my lifetime if that makes any sense and so today I pushed myself after a long while to leave the house and go do something outside I don't have anything specific planned I just came out of walk and um, see what happens and I thought to myself you know what that would be a good idea to talk about this mental entanglement that I'm having these past weeks because they're just I, I want them gone they're not something I want to latch on to forever 
if that makes any sense. And so, yeah, we're out walking the streets, the new place, and that's basically all I want to say. If you are feeling like me, that's going to be the final word. If you feel like your heart's heavy, your mind is like a, 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 a minefield, I think you need to get out of your house, of your comfort zone, responsibly, of course, and just go for a walk in the neighborhood, maybe, and talk to yourself, or just not talk to yourself, listen to music. Who knows what kind of what's going to come out of it. And above all, just stay safe. This thing is really serious, just where we are. It's a little bit more serious than anybody had already anticipated and that's where my story ends for now stay safe stay good be responsible and if you're feeling like you need help talk to someone about it talk to anyone about it to your family to your friends just keep talking that's what i'm gonna leave you with stay safe and, well, be good. See you soon.